Good midnight, this is G-Level 7 and this is Pokemon Heart Gold for the Nintendo DS Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we defeated Faulkner, the gym leader, and we got the Zephyr Badge. And so in this episode, we are hoping to reach to the next town. But before I take off, I'm going to show you those Pokemon eggs that have been hatched off screen. So, we have here is a Slugma, we have a Mareep, a Whooper, and Togepi. And I have done massive grinding as well, so Slugma in particular is going to be extremely helpful in the second gym. And Mareep's electric type will clip Scyther's wings, <laughs> just, like, just like I'll clip into Pidgey's wings. But we're not using them right now. We're going to use our current team, which is right here. We've got Rattata at 15. we got a Zubat on level 14. A Spinarak on 11. Hoot Hoot on 12. And Chikorita on 15, which is about to evolve very soon. Alright, so let's get started. And we haven't caught a Pokemon in the route yet, so we're going to catch one very soon. I wonder what the Pokemon would be. Okay, there goes the first encounter. What would be? It's gonna be a Rotata, which I already got one, so we're going to keep trying again until I haven't seen one yet. Oh, and evolutionary families counts too. Okay, so I can't, I can't battle this trainer. You didn't turn around your uh, faces. Okay, let's go into Hoot Hoot. This one needs more training. I haven't seen you around before. Do you think you're pretty tough? I sure am. I just got my first badge. You should retreat. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna use um, we're gonna use Pack. Oh, did not turn on the battle animations. Why do I keep forgetting? Okay, I'll do that after this battle. Okay, you got a Zubat. Maybe because I want the game to go fast and to eliminate all pictures and animations. And you missed your supersonic. I don't have time for being confused. And it's taken down. Goodbye, Zubat. You're strong. Yes, I am. Definitely am. Now let's switch settings. Um, let's see. Gotta turn on the battle animation so it's gonna look even prettier. And it's not gonna... Well, if I turn off the battle animation, it's gonna look like smoke on style. And I gotta repel. Um, let's take, well, let's go this way. We still haven't caught a Pokemon in the route yet, haven't we? Okay. Hopefully, we can find a Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Oh my goodness, we have already seen one. Let's go. Pardon me, but I have to go. Okay, what have you got? That glance is intriguing. You got one Pokemon is a Nidoran. Level 9. Wonderful. Oh wow, that's, that's like a 4 hit KO. Please don't have Poison Point activated. And Hypnosis. Yippee, you're asleep. <clears throat> I know, it's hit rate is crappy. It's like 60 hit rate. And you will need gravity or three accuracy ups and and you'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, hypnosis is unreliable. You need sleep powder or spore. And Camper is defeated. This is disappointing. 
Okay, so I believe we got there's an item down there. Okay, please give me a Pokemon that I haven't seen yet. I have already seen Whooper, Dupes Claws. It's already three times. Now maybe I'll be fishing for a rod, and Gyarados will replace. Gyarados will replace. Um, will we replace Quacksire? And we have another dupes clause again. Hang in there, we're about to get an old rod very soon. Unless... Unless there's a different Pokemon that I haven't seen. A Marip, I already have one of that too. Dupes clause number five. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Okay, let me see what you have. I can evaluate you. You got one Pokemon with you and you got a Whooper. You have uh, trained very well, I think. Tail Whip? Okay, no problem. Razor Leaf boosted by Miracle Seed. Oh, you dodged it. Bad luck. Unleash my 120 base power. Or 500, I don't know. I'm tired of calculating at the moment. Shucks, I thought I could win. Nope, try again. Okay, so we got a Pokemon Center. We can heal anytime you like, but first we got to talk to this fisherman. This area is great for fishing. Looking at all those people fishing, do you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? Would you like one of my rods? Yes! I got the old rod. And you know what I'm going to do pretty soon? I'm going to catch a Magikarp. And he'll teach you how to fish, assuming this is your first Pokemon game that you have. So we're gonna register that. And we're gonna fish for one. Now that one, I can guarantee you that there's a Pokemon that I haven't seen. So we're gonna fish for that. Gotta wait for the exclamation mark. Yes, there it is. Now, the first Pokemon, well, not the first Pokemon, but Dupes Claws is over. Yes! We got a female Magikarp. I think I just found a Pokemon to name you. Alright, so we're gonna hit you little by little. <gasps> okay. I swear, if you get another quit, crit... I'm gonna miss I'm gonna be missing out on catching Pokemon, so don't you dare kill good. Now we're gonna send you to sleep. I think Hooters is gonna be my Pokemon capture. Now it's f with the sleep with the sleep status plus the red health bar, I think it's like two times four. So eight times the catch rate and should be guaranteed. Magic Carp has 255. 255 catch rate. Click. And I caught ya. So I'm gonna train to level 20. It's gonna have. Well, it depends on the nature though. I can't be too excited yet. Alright, so I should name you, um. Shall I name you Misty because she has one in the anime? I was about to nickname one of the Pokemon Conquest Warriors, but it turns out to be a female Magikarp. And speaking about it, let me check what she has. A lax nature, good defense, bad special defense. Um, doesn't seem to affect attack and speed, so I guess it's okay. No big deal. We shall, of course, have to heal our team.
Oh, and those are one of the few Pokemon centers that you can't fly directly into. You have to fly into a town or city. All right, so we're going. We're pretty soon. We're going in the cave. It's called the Union Cave, I believe. Yeah. So we're going. Oh, I did not dodge that trainer. That badge is from Violet City. You beat Faulkner. Yep. This is proof. And you have a Pidgey. Level six. Oh, that didn't do half yet. Sand attack. Wait, does it have Keen Eye or Insomnia? Let me check its ability. Oh, you have Insomnia. Shoot, would it miss? Nope, not yet. Oh, my hit rate's gonna be 60. Oh no, it's going to miss. Stop missing. There's no excuse for a 60 hit rate. Are you kidding me? Hex. Hex. There we go. But I better switch out because it's giving me a hard time. Got another Pidgey. Okay, I'm going to switch to... Switch to... Joey. There we go. I mean... Wow, well, got to change the nickname. Let me see how much a um, quick attack would do. It should learn Hyper Fang somewhere on level in the late tens. That would be a very nice move to have. Okay, let's go for another quick attack. And oh, I thought that was a critical hit. Well, the fact that it's not a critical hit shows its true power. And I defeated Bird Keeper Peter. I know what my weaknesses are. Good, learn from it. Um, okay, ignore. That's how you ignore phone calls. Just go to any icon except the phone. Anyways, we're going to go in the Union Cave, which means we can catch a Pokemon here. Let's switch Hooters out and put Joey for a guaranteed escape in case something terrible happens. Okay, so the first Pokemon we can get in Union Cave is a Rattata. We already got one. We're le Okay, Rattata, we're leaving. Next. <clears throat> okay, so, wow, there's gonna be hikers, so I better switch to a grass type because they mostly have rock type Pokemon and we're gonna whack them in one hit. Whack him with leaves, yes. And you got one Pokemon, it's an Onyx. Woo! <laughs> okay, so Razor Leaf. Oh, you're fast too. Super effective, six times the damage. And we took it out. And we got 200 experience, and it's level 16, and it's going to evolve. It's going to evolve soon. I'm beaten big time. Here it comes. So there we have it, our spicy bay leaf. No more aroma fragments, it's gonna be a spicy personality. Okay, so it is. It's a. Uh, its stats have been enhanced. Wow, its physical defense is looking good. And we don't care much about its speed because it's gonna be outsped often. Isn't that so? Okay, so we have another encounter. What would it be? It is a sand shoe. That is something we haven't seen. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a poison powder. Oh, why do you miss? 
Okay, you use defense curl. Let's see if tackle doesn't take you out. Please don't kill. No. Oh, nice. I like it. Best position. Best gotch ever. <clears throat> One, two, three. Click it. Yes. What should I name you, anyways? I haven't thought of a nickname for Sandshrew. Um, I should name you uh, Sandrush because you have one of those uh, you have one of those Dream World abilities that lets you that you have one of those hidden abilities that doubles your speed stat. Sense to box one. Oh, and we have further interruptions on wild Pokemon. And we could have caught a Geodude. We could have caught a Geodude because it didn't have the opportunity to use self destruct, as it doesn't learn it at that level yet. You're headed to Azelia, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. How many do you have to keep me from being entertained? You got three. A level four Geodude, what a joke, but even Tackle can't take it off because it's resistant to it. And thank goodness you don't have the fifth generation sturdy effect. Let's see, do I have any other Pokemon? Nope, nothing can easily take it out. Just Bailey himself. And Geodude is down. And you have another Geodude, which I'm assuming is level 8? Nope, level 6. If I have Magical Leaf, I'm going to replace Razor Leaf because Razor Leaf can sometimes miss and I am upset, well actually not upset, unsatisfied. I should slap a repel one. Okay Bayleaf, we gotta we gotta go. There's no time to fight wild Pokemon, just trainer battles. How many repels do I have? I have two. Oh well. Don't hesitate to use it though. You will need it. Um, looks like you got a fire breather here, so we're gonna switch to a neutral Pokemon that can do solid damage. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. It makes your head spin, and then you get lost in a cave without an escape rope. Okay, so let's start with a bite attack. And that shall do more than half damage. And you didn't you don't have self-destruct yet. Coughing is down. It's gonna learn hyper fame. Let's see, what should we get rid of? Um I'm gonna get rid of focus energy because critical hits doesn't happen often to merit a move slot. And you have another coffin. Alright, so let's try this new Hyper Fang attack out. Wow, that's one shot. One shot to that coffin. I'm flamed out. <laughs> okay, what's this item here? I got a great ball. 1.5 times the catch rate. Okay, so we're gonna escape from the dungeon, and if you try to avoid running, the trainers won't spot you, like that. <laughs> okay, so let's get that item, it's an awakening. We might need it for f f 
against opponent who kept using hypnosis or anything else. And just put Tolly in front for for a defensive tank, and we should be oh. Well, after that battle, Dame will be in town. I came to the cave, but I still have plenty of energy left. Okay, what do you have? You have a Geo Dude. It started to rain. My synthesis is only recovering me from. You see why? This is why I hate Razor Leaf because it misses, like what it just happened just now. Yeah, 95 hit rate is still puts you into the BS range. There, this is how things should have been done. Anthony sends out match. I mean, match up. <laughs> Razor leaf. Slice them. Can it take it out? Almost. Even with the miracle seed, it doesn't create an impact. I think last episode, I w I said miracle seed does 1.5 more damage, but I was wrong. I apologize. Level 17. It might tank one of Scyther's U-turn, but it'll get seriously injured after that. I'm still, I'm still worried about, I'm still worried about um Bugsy, because he's got a pretty good Pokemon that's like in the never used. <clears throat> and repel wars off. No matter. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Dud. Oh, wow. That is terrible. You came back. I, we thought we chucked you out. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good cemetery? Well, not. you're not a cemetery because you kicked someone. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. We finally made Azelia Town. And in the next episode, we're probably heading to Slowpoke Well. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.